Let us all delve into this particular chart right here. Now, what are we looking at? In this particular case, we have three groups of mice. One is your control group, the lean group right there, which is eating a standard diet. Then you have the two other groups of mice. Keep in mind this is an animal model, obviously. You have one which is considered a high fat Western style diet. Nothing else. No other attempt to mitigate or offset the progression of the particular disease, as you see here, going from steatosis to NASH, all the way to liver cancer. Then we have the other group, which consuming the same high fat Western style diet, same diet, same length of time, with one exception, the addition of seaweed derived minerals. Now, when you think about it, you wonder, well, you, how can minerals offset the progression of liver disease? Because in this case, if you look at that, what happened? Steatosis, died. minimal injury, as well as no further progression. Therefore, a very happy group of mice, which got a chance to live relatively, not unhealthy, but have their cake and eat it too. You see what I mean? So, generally, you have those three groups, but the exception and the difference was seaweed-derived plant minerals. In this case, they used a particular trade name called Aquaman. But regardless of that, just the same, look what these seaweed-derived minerals did for helping mitigate the potential for a negative outcome in reference to liver disease, especially liver cancer itself. Now, this is truly groundbreaking research for the main reason being is such an incredible large percentage of society suffers from fatty liver disease, which obviously no one wants to see progress to this point. Now, if something like this can be mitigated just simply by the addition of basically adding a healthy dose of seaweed derived minerals, that truly can be an incredible, incredible medical breakthrough for a huge segment of the population. Now keep in mind this is an animal study and we should consider it a pilot study. We are not going through dosaging or anything else along those lines because obviously the difference between an animal and a human can be quite dramatic. But just the same, it is incredibly incredible noble research worthy of a note. So with that in mind, let's get right into the research as follows. Mineral supplement could stop fatty liver disease progression. That is literally the title of the article published in Experimental, uh, Experimental Biology, or I should say the public release from Experimental Biology. Mice fed a high fat diet and supplement rich in calcium and magnesium didn't develop liver cancer. Now, part of the reason the seaweed derived minerals is because they purported to have a better absorption than basically minerals derived from rock or animal uh, sources. Now, it doesn't mean there aren't certain forms from rock or animal sources that have the uh, uh, bioavailability enhances some matter. But in this case, we're just looking at the basics. And the basics here is the seaweed derived minerals purportedly seem to have a much better bioavailability than that from rock or animal source in its basically raw form. To proceed as follows results from a preclinical study add new evidence that a multi-mineral dietary supplement known as Aquamin could be a simple and effective way to reduce the long-term health consequences of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease. Aquamin, which is the trade name, which is derived from calcified red marine algae, is rich in calcium, magnesium, and 72 other minerals and trace elements. To proceed. In preliminary studies, the researchers fed mice a high-fat diet to induce the development of non-alcoholic fatty liver disease and, I should say, non-alcoholic steatohepatitis, NASH. They studied these mice for 15 to 18 months to observe the full spectrum of liver disease, including advanced fibrotic changes and liver cancer. These studies revealed a dramatic reduction in late stage consequences of non alcoholic steatohepatitis and ASH in animals that were fed the high fat diet and received the multi mineral supplement compared to those that did not receive the supplement. 
In short-term studies lasting about 24 weeks, the research identified protein changes associated with the non-alcoholic steatohepatitis and reduced tumor formation in the longer studies. Quote, in the long-term studies, quoting obviously, we observed that most of the mice in the high-fat diet had large liver tumors, while the mice on the same diet had no tumors. We're not saying a lower percentage. We're not saying half. We're saying no tumors. When they received the mineral supplement, quoting the researcher, these results confirmed our earlier findings that minerals may have the potential to reduce the downstream consequences of fatty liver disease. Now we're going to go to the abstract that's been published and work with the conclusion from there because it's stated quite well. Conclusion. The addition of dietary minerals may play a role or play a protective role in interfering with downstream advancement from steatosis to non-alcoholic steatohepatitis. Our studies provide mechanistic insight into how mineral supplementation may contribute to the reduction in liver injury and tumor formation, one of the most devastating consequences of fatty liver disease in the context of high fat Western diets induced steatosis. So our high fat Western style diet as we considered the, the primary uh, graphic that we looked in the very beginning. So there you have it. It's really kind of cool. And again, excuse the, uh, for the past few weeks, been moving around, so we're different sets. And obviously we're a little bit lighting challenged today, but still just the same. If something this simple, because we normally don't think of liver health in associating with mineral intake, we associate it with possibly the amino acid intake, uh, certain nutrients, vitamins, herbs, and so on and so forth. But often, more often than not, you tend not to think liver health minerals. In this case, seaweed derived minerals. And now that the researchers see this occurring, it really sparks the curiosity of how these seaweed derived minerals basically are resulting in mitigating such a potential negative outcome in reference to the high fat Western style diet. It is just amazing. And to think about it too, it is not a difficult uh, a prophylactic um, uh, opportunity should per se to take something as simple as the seaweed derived minerals. So for example, let's say someone's looking for bone or bone health or reduction in muscle cramps, so on and so forth. If they had to choose between the two and they were basically concerned of the, the negative outcomes of a high fat Western style diet, all they have to do is basically alter their mineral intake from basically their typical calcium, magnesium carbonate or magnesium oxide and alter that to a seaweed derived mineral base and yield a greater benefit that encompasses far more general health outcomes, beneficial outcomes than just basically working for a rock based mineral compound. That's what makes it so amazing and so simple. So it's nothing that really requires a dramatic change in people's lifestyle per se in regard to vitamin and nutrient intake or something that's so dramatic per se that generally a medical practitioner if once they get you know their, their basically their individual clientele on a, a magnesium or calcium whatever it is just to alter that step to a seaweed derived multi-mineral per se again an incredibly incredibly interesting intriguing pilot study it has to be preferably uh, confirmed and basically pursued in human trials but still just the same if it works like this in the animal model and basically translates the same to, to basically people that would be just incredible what is it, like close to 25 percent of the population uh, has a susceptibility to the non-alcoholic fatty liver disease or fatty liver so why not simple effective and an incredible benefit to basically just that a large segment of the population out there which should have such dire concerns. Again, gratitude, thank you. As always, gratitude to the researchers. And again, 
you have the setting and the lighting per se, but still we do the best we can with what we can. I want to keep this going on a weekly basis and hopefully we can mine some positive information from the research that the, I should say plethora of research, which basically comes out on a weekly basis. But still just the same, I am humbled that you watch and I'll catch you all next time. Yes, the long goodbye. I'll catch you all next time. Bye-bye.